Oh, uh, you have milk left? I do, yeah. yeah. I'm good. Thanks. So you are recording through all of this. <laughs> but people out here don't give a shit about the newest handrail in Los Angeles. There's so much plain spots in California. It's fucking whack. Maybe the, the, the trick level isn't as crazy as California, but the spots out here are fucked up. And like half the California dudes wouldn't even touch the, the, some of the shit out here. So it's, it's more about like how you skate this shitty spot. It might not look that crazy on the camera, but it's really hard to skate. I was, I was getting stuff from Real for a little bit. They started Crooked and the team manager dude was like, hey, we're gonna send you a box of Crooked stuff and uh, hopefully you like it. If you don't like it, you could, you could stay with Real. Uh, and I think Mark and Dan were the only ones really on. And then he got, he got the first uh, Am ad. I got one after him and that was it. I was, that was the team, just us four. I have a bunch of shit that I saved. I tried to save like, I tried to save all of my boards at least, but there's a few I'm missing. Fuck, at Pulaski, that's my favorite place on earth. The locals are pretty good at spotting the cops. We see them like blocks away. They gotta be real sneaky to like, to catch someone who's been skating there for years. Or I have to be like slipping pretty, pretty hard. I do a line where um, I think I do a front blunt on the ledge and then kick flip down, down the set of steps. And right when I land, there's a, um, there's a park police van. Like I land and kind of dodge the van. They come at like spe weird times too, because there's a theater across the street. They don't come around, the cops won't come around the time when like the theater's letting in or letting out because they don't want, they don't want everyone to see like what really happens. When I was just there, uh, they ended up showing up and there was a backpack sitting on the, on the ledge. A couple guys sitting around the bag and the cop just grabs the bag. And the dude is like, no, hey, that's my bag. And he's like, the cop just walked off with his shit. He's like, I'm telling you that's my bag. Why are, like, why are you taking my bag? It's like his backpack with all his shit in it. And the cop didn't give him a reason, just the cop stole his backpack. Yeah, we, uh, we were just chilling and had a tall can after. It's mellow, real mellow. Threw the shit in the trash when we were done and like, we're going to leave and we all get in the car. Yeah, the park police came up and blocked us in. I'm like, what the fuck? They wouldn't let us leave the parking spot. And they're asking us for our IDs. And we're like, what are you, like we weren't even doing anything. And they're like, we know you were up there drinking. Prove that we were drinking. And the guy's like, all right, you want me to prove it? And he gets on his phone. Fucking five minutes later, we're getting yanked out of the car by undercovers. They're fucking throwing us against the car. And then another dude comes walking around with a plastic bag. It's got like, it's got like vodka bottles in it. And like a, a, one, of, one of our beers we were probably drinking. And he's like, this is, this is the proof. You guys are going to jail. I'm like, what the fuck? So they're like fingerprinting us and shit. And the lady's like, so what are you in here for? Apparently drinking in public. And she's like, what? That's, they're supposed to give you a $25 ticket for drinking in public. Dickhead cops, just do whatever they want to do. You're giving them a hard time, they'll, they'll lock you up.